DC 23, you say? Yep. Please don't fuck this up. <laughs> well, <laughs> didn't fuck it up. Okay. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, you succeeded, so instead. Uh, okay, what's his caster level? Ah, the uh, so instead of 170 points of damage you take, 3d6 plus 17. So as you feel as the like necromancy energy is like trying to sap your life out of you, but you just shrug it off. And as as the rest of the party sees just Genkiro like surviving, think, I mean even if you fail you would survive Finger of Death because I think you have more than 170 hit points. Uh, as you see, Genkiro surviving another spell, we return <laughs> to the rest of the party and mostly the reaction of Ramis is she's like, she's like greeting her team. That, she's like... I'm just walking back into the room tearing more sex. He's like, she's like, no sex for him for the next month. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I'm gonna make this next year. I pulled out my broom and sitting on it eating popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding him. I walked back into the room holding a mutton leg. <laughs> Just pulling shit out of nowhere. And I at least left the room to do that. And she's like, like, glaring also at you. So. What is this? Who is that person he's fighting? Where is he? What's going on? Uh, I have no idea who that is, but it looks incredibly evil. Technically, you know something. <laughs> Do I? I mean, the scar. Well. Or did you? Because I've already forgotten if, like, much all the party knows that there might be phantom troop base in the scar. I'm oh, sure we know. You know about that, but mm. we, yeah, but he, uh, he is obviously not in the scar. <laughs> uh, did Zach also know uh, about the, the uh, leader of the phantom troop being a dragon disciple? Probably I not. I think all of you know that because. As I, the I, time skip, I myself as a player know it, I don't think Endeth does. I mean, it's your choice, because as a DM during the time skip, I told you like what kind of intel you gathered during the time skip, so you would know some pieces of information regarding Phantom Troop. And the no. fact that Phantom Leader was Dragon Disciple, among other things, was one of the pieces of information. Did we know it was their main base in the score? I'm pretty sure we did that, though. Um, main base? I mean, n no, like, probably one of the bigger bigger ones, but, uh, like, let's put it this way, in, in case of these organizations, it's hard to pinpoint the true... Yeah, just a question, do we know of any other location? No. Then I, then I suppose Oti would be like, well, if you want to help him out, I'm not sure if there's him, if the, he's there, but we do know of a base of the, uh, one of their bases. In the crystals, but it's crystal scar. Uh, just the scar. The scar. It's south of the hunted yeah. forest, which is not hunted so much after <laughs> uh, rampage of Endiv killed the umbral dragon and the entire army of shadows, mm. among other things. Yeah. That. And yeah, so... it's not hunted. It's hollow forest, which mm. is still hollow. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. And she's like, looks at you, Alti, and she's like, pouting. Oh, come on, sis, sis, who shall tell when husband of a sister is in trouble? <laughs> well, we didn't know until now. Mm -hmm. Ah, mm. man, now you know. I mean, let's... we can we teleport in there and. Help kick, help kick some ass? To the scar? Varion better let me teleport the tower and go to the scar. 
Marion! <laughs> and there's like a voice like of a pissed off, like not only women, but pissed off. That's just... What are all the weapons the tower has again? Shit. Fireballs! Never yeah, but you want... you, right. As big as uh, Legion is, like... It, it is possible to slightly push him towards down the scar, but at the bottom it's not possible to fit the... I was just gonna say, mm -hmm. like, just start, th like, shooting fireballs into the scar left and right. Yes. Which probably won't do much, but if you want to True. feel, fa fa like, more fun, more... Your call. Set myself on fire, then die <laughs> Jump <with> in. Them. <laughs> well, like, yeah, launch the fireballs, then start dropping from the castle and be quicker than the fireballs and be at the place when they explode. Seems legit. Yep. Become the exterminatus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah. Like, she returns like a minute later with like, even though Varion, you f you're pretty sure in terms of magical power he's still stronger than her. She's like manhandling him, she just brings him to, to you like by grabbing him by his beard, like impressive white beard. And he's like, uh, Miss Ramis, this is no need for being... And she's like, do not say another word about me being furious. Do you... And then after some time you just... Uh, uh, teleport... Uh, the tower Do we teleports. Have a plan or are we just going to attack? Well, from what I heard from your stories about your party, attacking, well, <laughs> you usually did that and the results were diverse. We but attacked now, and then we regretted it. <laughs> but now my husband is in danger and I say, screw it. We're going to get them all. <laughs> and yeah, uh, just so you know, I'm not like... NPCs won't be getting much spotlight in the fight because that would be too much trouble for me. Uh, but yeah, but... You just know, have them hand, just take away some enemies that they're fighting over there and they can have their fight over there while we're fighting these guys. Yeah, I'm saying that some specific members... Yeah. Like, Okay, oh. so as you are teleporting there and beginning your quick descent on the bottom of the scar, we return to the battle with the Phantom Troop Leader as he just unleashed his another devastative spell. And uh, like now's uh, Genkiro's turn again. You are just like within like and like both of you probably like faces full of like anger or something i don't know like i don't know what genkiro face is like now but the phantom troop leader is like twisted in like probably madness insanity and total like rage like kind of like Based. rage like i'm gonna bathe this i'm gonna bathe in your blood kind of um, i don't think genkiro would have enough blood bathing <laughs> genkiro would uh, hold a similar face but uh, instead of uh, pure madness, he's going to have. Uh, I'm going to beat you to protect my friends. So. Uh, okay. So in other words, their expressions are almost exactly the same. Mm. <sighs> All right. Uh, so whose turn is it? All right. Uh, and I'm. If I'm in range, I'm going to do a full attack. Uh, yeah, you can make a five foot step and then you will be able to full attack him. Alright. And as I full attack, I'm going to just scream out, of, out on the top of my lungs. No more! Do you hear me? No more! That's a one hit, that's a... And a potential... You don't get to hurt my family anymore! Uh, uh, that's... okay, that's a miss. Yeah. For a moment I was thinking you are rolling to confirm crit. Oh no. Uh... That was my third attack. And I forgot that uh, I also... It 
also has speed, so I get a, to do another. Yep. And the crit fail. Alright. Uh, and well, you need to roll to confirm a critical. Because remember what the crit range on that weapon is? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so the second one threatens a critical, so roll to confirm. Sadly, Missed. does does that does not confirm. Alright, so... Let's see, it does... What kind of damage does it do? 2d10. 2d10. Two, two, two plus... I need to check what are his resistances and what not. Okay, One, two, fire. and... 96... Plus 36 and 33. Okay. So a total of... Are you dealing any sort of elemental? Uh, it did do sneak attack damage, but I no, didn't no, know if it. Normal, I think. No. Yeah, because then it's I like he has ten so. points of resistance to cold, electricity, and fire. And I think she he should have immunity to acid. Yeah, he has immunity to acid. Okay, so uh, you can count the total. Okay, that damage reduction doesn't count. And give me a moment, because he would have some sort of... Uh, tu -tu 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 -tu. Yeah, he has like unholy aura activated on him from the start of the fight. And let me double check, what does it do? Uh, if we're good creature, so it's a melee attack against one creature. Uh, okay, so technically you made a full attack, but I will ask you only once right. to make a fortitude DC 24 save. The fortitude was 15, and another crit fail. Okay, okay. so uh, roll 1d6. Probably doesn't hurt you at all because you rolled your to hit from dexterity. Okay, five. so you lose five points of strength because unholy aura works that way. Offending attacker takes one d six points of strength damage, forty two negates. So as you hit him, even though you use your like nimble moves, dexterity, you still feel like slight amount of like strength, like subs from your muscles. But yeah, uh, okay. So as the What's the total damage? That uh, was let's see, 39, 30, 60, 90, 99, 108. And... Okay, I'm gonna give him... Because he's getting... I mean... Not really half there yet, but uh, he's getting finally mauled, and I'm gonna give him one roll of cool. Uh, tu -tu 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 -tu. Okay, so uh, he tumbles once again, back, uh, shifts, and then like spits like a small trickle of the blood and just like uh, like probably ignores like gush wound on his uh, body and like part of his robes like slightly like clipped torn apart ah, the rage is here but there is it is not enough yet to kill me and then he uh, like unleashes quickend uh, this is rule of cool quickend uh, spell. Alright. Uh, he unleashes Orb of the Void. Uh, da, 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 da. Close range. Uh. Uh, 
Okay, so he will cast or Orb of the Void on top of you almost, like in the same square. So give me another... Uh, two, 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 two. Uh, a DC 24 Fortitude save. Alright, should be easier. Oops, not that much. 28. Yep, you just completely ignore that black sphere of energy that tries to sap over your life force. And then, uh, as a standard action, as a standard action, uh, because apart from the blade, now you realize on, on his back there's a javelin. And I need to double check if he can throw it. Uh, if it's a artifact weapon, can I use my bardic knowledge to uh, identify it? I mean, you can. It's not really an artifact, but you can. Alright. So, knowledge... Knowledge history, knowledge uh, nature. Uh, history, mm, dungeoneering, arcana. Nature, not so much. Uh, 23 engineering. Mm, it's not really an artifact, although it is enchanted magically. Probably the easiest thing that you can see that this thing, even when thrown, it returns to the uh, owner, and it's also an. An. All right. It's not. It's not the gay bulk level, but still. So almost from the point blank range, he just like swirls the javelin and like just fucking burn already, and just like from point blank range tries to like nail you, and this is within thirty feet. So. Plus 23. And remember, I still have my clones. Yeah. Or so mirror. does that even uh, bypass your AC? Yes. Okay, so uh, I think you had four mirror images remaining? Yep. Or five? Four, okay. Four. So D5 on one, it's a hit. Nope, so you have four mirror uh, no way. Three, Three mirror images remaining. Okay, and that was his turn. On the uh, probably at the end of his turn, the javelin like le returns or something. So yeah, uh, you can act now. The probably right. like the spells that are getting thrown, like the uh, the places that people can see it. All the altar are getting like more and more destroyed. Chunks and bits and pieces are flying everywhere. And they are not landing immediately because for you gravity is normal, like you are normally fighting. But for like furniture, dead objects, uh, like it, it's something strange with them. Uh, would that also affect the, the uh, javelin? No. Oh. All right. So I'm going to cast. Uh, what, where was it? I'm going to cast Dance of a Thousand Cuts, which gives me haste, plus 5 to AC, to hit, damage, and acrobatics. So... Temporary... Plus 5... And I'm going to... Uh, close in do an acrobatics check to jump over him and behind his back and uh, stab him in the back. Okay. So, let's see, acrobatics check yeah. is... twenty-nine. Forty. Yep. No problem. As uh, as Genkero springboards uh, o ups and pirouettes be over behind uh, his back, he's going to uh, do a devastating slash towards uh, his wings. 
Okay, technically speaking, like normally he needs to spend an action to grow his wings, but we are making a of cool that he has. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see. So, temporary mod. So, 27. 32 to AC. That's a hit. So. 2d10 plus 10 and 9d6, so 53 damage. And another meta attack. No, wait. Uh, if you succeed on this fortitude check against like uh, unholy aura, you won't, would, won't need to make them next time. I mean, until the end of the fight. Alright. I think the DC for that was 24. Yes, 24. So. 21. Okay, so roll 1d6. D6. Plus 6. Okay, so you take another 6 points of dam uh, strength damage. What's your current strength, just out of curiosity? Uh, five. <laughs> You're half as strong as a normal human. Yeah, like, it, it's really good you are, like, dexterity fighter, like, to hit and damage, because otherwise you would be... Can that reduce it below zero? I mean, when you drop to zero on strength, I guess something happens, you become but... A vegetable. You... No, 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 not a vegetable. You, you literally be, like, can't move. move your body, you're so weak. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so Which means that if he does that.